the Kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk, ruthlessly rules New York City's underworld with cunning and keen intellect. Hello and welcome to St. Joyce Corner and today we are reviewing from Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Edition, The Kingpin. Now this guy kind of sold out everywhere and Kapow just recently got some imported stock and I couldn't help myself to be honest. I've always been sort of after this guy since getting into the uh, Marvel Legends kind of franchise and this guy, I can understand, looks massive. The card looks insane. Uh, just the actual sheer size of it. Uh, just getting it out of the box is just huge. For instance, this is a normal Black Series figure. Can't even fit it onto the screen, can't even get his feet on there because this box is absolutely massive. So anyway, on the side, we'll get rid of Mr. Stormtrooper here. So with the Kingpin, is in a very old traditional Kingpin looking way. He's actually got the beaten up face on his face and he's got a swappable head there with a normal Kingpin head. We have got the cane down here, the Kingpin on the side and obviously in the old 90s retro edition. Swinging the card around, we've got a ginormous back side of it uh, with the Kingpin with his bio, um, how to swap his head and the other figures from the wave. One day we may get a re-release of this wonderful Spider-Man but at the moment it's looking like we're not but I'm in high hopes that we will because I ain't paying over a hundred pounds just for one figure. So I guess without further ado let's just crack this bad boy open. So here he is in his blister pack obviously where there's no hidden accessories or anything there because we actually do see him as he is on the box. But for our first impressions we'll just pull him out before his review. Feels solid. I actually thought this was actually a solid piece on there. It actually opens up. It's actually a really soft vinyl, so that's really nice. And uh, yeah, looking really nice and meaningful. So we're going to go away and take his pictures and we'll see you in a mo. So welcome back, we've been away, we're taking his photos and oh my god Hasbro, you have done a fantastic job of this and I, the more I purchase Marvel Legends, the more I fall in love with the line, uh, I'm not going to fall completely in love with the line, as long as I've got one character of each, you know, that's fine for me, I'm not going to go out there and pick up every iteration of every character, but I needed a kingpin on the shelf and this guy, well he just looks absolutely fantastic i've seen him all on instagram and i needed to purchase him so as soon as i saw him come up available again i had to get him uh with kingpin my love hate relationship between him in the 90s in the cartoon i found him a little bit boring uh but as the sort of like the games the comics especially the ultimate spider-man uh, and the daredevil i actually fell in love with this character even more i just kind of i love the sort of sheer presence of him but he's not just the sort of weakling guy he's, he's like a hulking Hulk, you know, he just doesn't really care. I mean, especially in that Hawkeye thing, he's getting blown up to smithereens left, right and centre, but still standing up. So, yeah, looking forward to more of him. So, yeah, it comes with a couple of accessories. One is his cane. Uh, as you can see here, it's got like a see-through sort of crystal on the top here. Then it goes into the sort of gold part and down into the wooden cane part of itself. Just needs a little bit of heating up. It's slightly warped where it's been in the packaging but it doesn't really take away from the look at all. The other accessory he comes with is obviously a removable head, and this is the head that he actually come with in the actual packaging, uh, but I've taken it off and put the uh, natural one on here. But uh, yeah, the details on there, as you can see, the eyes are just standard printed. We've got a black eye, we've got cuts, bruises, his teeth look all sort of like damaged in there as well. We've got some veins where he's getting so angry on his head, going around, and the nice ear sculpt as well and also with his chins. So he's proper looking down, look really snarling away. 
and we can just pop this one off on here. It's just a really nice looking sculpt head where he, he's sort of chasing Spider-Man and he doesn't want to get my way. You can see that anger in his face. Looks really, really cool. So taking that back off, we'll go back to his normal head before going into his articulation and then popping that on there. So articulation wise, with his head, we can go left, we can go right. He can look down, not a lot, and he can look up, not a lot either. I guess that's his fat rolls getting in the way at the back of his head. Rotation at the arm can come around this far and arm can come up this way as well. We have rotation here at the elbow and it's on a single elbow joint as well. And they come up to about 90. We've got rotation here at the wrist and it's also on a hinge. Then we have the sort of like swivel here and it's just sort of like underneath the sort of like torso sort of type up there. So we can go left and we can go right. Can't really look down and he can't really look back up either. Leg wise, they can come up this far, forward, back, upper thigh rotation we've got knee rotation on a single knee joint as well and they don't really give much articulation here either it's just up to this point here can't even go back anymore feet wise we have got a rocker and a pivot but because of the sort of shape of the actual trousers we don't really get much of that either but it doesn't actually take away from the figure because the sheer weight of the figure you know we can just turn him slightly push him down bring up the arm a bit and it really you've got some weight going in there into sort of some punches and stuff like that you don't really need to have that much articulation for this guy it's just a sheer presence of him in photographing him really brings it off but with that as well you can actually go into the sculpt of the figure and just looking at the face there you can see the lines under the eyes it's not too cartoony with those sort of eye prints on there it's obviously not face tech but the actual detail of the paint is pretty nice and also the wrinkles and all that around on there going down to his sash we've got the uh, very nice vibrant blue with that gold pin in there yellow waistcoat going down obviously all the wrinkles and the buttons and stuff all in there his dinner jacket got the red hanky buttons uh, kind of pockets there on the back and a few little raffles around on the back of his top and then down to the purple trousers not much really going for but there is some detail here on his crocodile shoes so yeah just look looking really really nice really fun character to play with and um, yeah really worth the money with the arm here we can actually pop the arm off uh, just a little bit of a swivel here and then we can actually take off the actual jacket itself so if he wants to get mean and thingy with spider-man we can actually get him there looking a bit more of a a bit of a brawler you know where he's just taking off his jacket and the other detail as well they've actually put in an extra shirt underneath the dinner jacket it's not just finishing white here you've actually got a shirt underneath there and we also got a signet ring there on his little pinky so yeah another fun size character from marvel legends and then just putting a couple of other marvel legends nearby we have got the thing so as you can see he's a bit bigger than this one here and uh, what other figures have we got we have got one of the Hulk. This was a bootleg Hulk. It was a, a Black Series um, Marvel Legends bootleg Red Hulk. So as you can see, the size comparisons going along that way. And then we can just bring in the sort of like Mortar Trooper from the Black Series range. So it can show you just how big this guy is and all the rest of the figures. It's just such a fun franchise. I absolutely love it. And I love my Marvel figures as far as I can throw them. So thank you so much for joining me on this one. Don't forget you can comment down below, you can follow me on Instagram, ding the bell, subscribe. Uh, there's loads of other things you can do in the description down below as well where you've got merchandise and save money on Zavi as well. So until next time, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!